I am a college made of brick and mortar, fueled by heart and mind. On this ground, hallowed and won by the sweat of champions, I've created a home for scholars and leaders. I've watched over this river as it carved its course through the valley, watched the sun rise over these hills 75,000 times, and I I am just getting started. I am a challenge. Show me what you're made of. Make me an instrument of your ambition. Doctors, lawyers, teachers and leaders, artists, soldiers, writers, businessmen and women. I've produced them all. In classrooms of steel and glass. And classrooms of earth and sky. In the field, I'm a scholar. On the field, I'm a warrior. Let's shake things up, make some waves, put the liberal arts to work. Digging, researching, building, discovering, creating, blazing a trail into the next world. I am an engine of evolution, of revolution. I turn thought into theory and theory into practice, and practice into perfect. I can remember very clearly when I came here for my visit as a candidate, uh, my wife and I walked out into this magnificent quad that's at the center of this campus, and I said, this is what a liberal arts college should be. The kind of student that comes to Lycoming is a student that is hungry and ambitious. And when you are able to attract students who have that kind of hunger and ambition, and you mix them together with a faculty that is dedicated and committed to undergraduate liberal arts education, the outcome can really be quite spectacular. If we look at the enduring nature of the liberal arts, they provide a student with the skill set to be able to learn continuously and to adapt to a changing world. Lycoming is an institution which, while small in the number of students that we have, is a giant in terms of the kind of impact that we have. We have the faculty, we have the student body, we have an extraordinary sense of history and great potential for the future. We really can achieve greatness. We can aspire to it and we can achieve it.